luckily I can see it because it had the glowing effect applied to it. Oh god. Christ, that was like a... Why can't I hit it? No, my house! No, my house! Yeah, so... Stuff gonna fall over. And I'm actually gonna try and... Uh, mine trees away from my home. Because... I'm gonna keep, uh... Keep a nice little protective sphere around. Actually, mining that one might not even have been a good idea, because now my home's all open to attack from the outside. But yeah, if there's any uh, real big nasty monsters, uh, if they're going to try and lumber at my house, the trees have a chance at stopping them. They might be too tall to fit through. Now let me keep uh, chopping down some trees, getting some, some wood. This, uh, this seems to be a, an intersection between a forest, a regular forest, and a birch forest, as I saw over there. See all those birch trees? So I can use that to get... This is cool. Uh, I can use that to get different types of wood. Oh, I can't mine this. Kind of sucks. So that's another thing. Is, uh, upgrading your skills. Now, in my inventory, you'll see that I have this, uh, these two tabs. This is inventory, and this is skills. Now, what's any of this? The answer is that if I were to attack a pig, which I won't, or will I? That's what he says. I would, uh, get some experience. Now, you know, in normal Minecraft experience and levels, you can only use them to enchant stuff. In th this, uh, RL Craft overhauls it so that you can use it to upgrade these skill things. And as you can see, with some of the things that I was trying to do, you need a specific level of specific skills to use, wait for it, specific things. Now, for example, I need a level 2 uh, farming stat to use these seeds, and a level 8 farming stat to use this hoe that I found. So I'm going to keep you in there. You're not going to do me much good. Hello. I don't need you. I could kill you. But I won't. So, one thing I mentioned earlier is that uh, the place that I went had fairies. Or the place that I spawned really had fairies. There you went. I was like, where did you go? I looked down, and then I looked back up, and it wasn't there. But there you are. So, fairies are a Lycanites mob that will give me, uh, and actually everything else, regeneration, as you can see in the top uh, corner. So if you stand near a fairy, you get regeneration. You can use this to... What? Oh, there you are. You can use this to your advantage if you're in a, a biome with a whole lot of... Okay, they're nymphs, not fairies. Um, you can use this to your advantage if you're in a biome with fairies in it to create... You know, sort of a... And not... Just... I, I don't know. Not create anything. Just sort of... It feels safer. Because you got a thing that can heal you in it. Ow. I've broken my feet. I'm just kidding. My feet are fine. I actually have been healed because I was near the fairy. See? There's the advantage of having fairies. Or nymphs, I guess. Now, this is cool. This is a battle tower from the Battle Towers mod. It's pretty tall. They are a staple of RL craft, and this one seems to be pretty close to where I am, where my house is rather, which is uh, not great because there is a boss at the top and I don't like the fact that it might be able to just follow me back to my house and kill me repeatedly. By the way, uh, when I was talking about how something might come up and throw a bomb at my window and destroy it and then they could get in and my house wouldn't be safe, one of the mobs that can destroy blocks is the guard at the top of this tower. So that might not be super fun. Definitely not a thing I'm gonna go do yet. No way. Now, I think I need to start... Uh, I need to get some experience, I think. So that way... Oh, look! It's a little cave. Ah, it's the wrong button. It's a little cave. I can explore stuff here. I can get ores and such. I need to get some animals in a pen. I need to start corralling them. So, the easiest way to uh, attract animals is with crops. So, 
It's time for me to start. Oh yeah, that's another thing that happens is uh, when you mine a block, it stays about mined. But you can, in, in a lot of cases, you can just replant it. Now it does, uh, it will slowly become less and less mined. So in a little bit, yeah, as you see, this is returning back to how it was before. Growing back to normal. So the first thing it seems like we're gonna need to do is to start a farm. So let's get uh, let's get cracking on that. Of course, first thing is gonna have to get some more flint since we're out of flint shards. And also another thing about this is that you don't pick up items automatically. You have to right click on them to pick them up. However, if you, oh, there's some more flint. If you shift near items, it will auto pick them up, which is why I was doing that earlier and why I'm doing it now. Now, one of the fun things that RL Craft doesn't actually take away from you is if you place down gravel and break it more, it still has a chance of uh, giving you flint out of it. So you can get as much flint as you need out of, well, I guess not as much as you need, but as much as you have gravel. Let's get into my house. Now, uh, as you see, I've got um, only these two recipes, which is because now that I have wood, oh, I forgot, you can't. Uh, now that I have wood, I have to make, what do you mean you can only sleep at night? Now that I have wood, I have to make myself a crafting table to craft the rest of the things that you can craft in, uh, not in, with flint in RL Craft. So let's see if I remember how to do this. You place wood down and you right click it with the hatchet. Yeah, and then it turns into planks. Boom. So now I can use these planks to make a table. And as you can see, wood gives you a lot less planks than in vanilla. Let's, uh, let's put it here. Why not? Oh, look at all. I got so much, uh, so much more, so much more stuff already. Now, if I remember correctly. Oh, and another thing is, uh, we have, I think it's, I think the new iteration of it is called Just Enough Items, which is, I don't know what, how these are over, why these are over here for, but, uh, that's cool, I guess. So you can click on stuff to see how to craft it. So that's how I would craft a flint hoe, which is what I would need to start my farm off, and that's how I'd craft a flint shovel. This is how I grabbed a flint pickaxe, and as you can see, we need more gravel, or flint. We have enough gravel. So I didn't actually realize it was gonna take that much. So I think the first thing I'm gonna do, in fact, is create a shovel that I can use to dig for flint faster. It just seems like the logical course of action to take. Also, another thing, I'm gonna steal, I'm gonna, not steal, I'm gonna store as much of the stuff in my chest as I can because keeping too much stuff in your inventory is not a good move. So let's see, okay. I didn't, I still, I need to grab one of these sticks. Can I, I can't, oh well. Can I move up, there we go. Hey, there, there's a thing, you can do that. So now I've got this shovel. And now I can dig for more flint faster. I'm speeding. So there goes my uh, shovel, but it doesn't matter because I have obtained a wisp. Now, I haven't obtained a wisp, I've just spotted one. I'm gonna go see what that's all about. What are you? Will you kill me? No! 
I'm glowing and I have night vision. Okay. So the glowing effect lets uh, things be seen through walls by other things. Uh, what's that and why? Hmm. Hey, there's another one. There was definitely a little ball of something. Hello. Oh, are they playing like... Are they playing catch with each other or something? They are! That's kind of adorable. I love that, actually. So glowing means you can be seen through walls by other things. <laughs> okay, that's kind of weird. So this, uh, this pig can actually be seen through walls, it seems, so... Well, doesn't seem like it's close enough anymore, but it definitely did have some particles coming off of it a second ago. Let me push it a bit closer. So, the way that Silder Shaders works is it actually... It fudges the glowing effect of it. I really hate you. Hello! Oh my god, and those guys are all powered up because they've got a, a nymph with them and one of them has spotted me. Not a big fan of that. Hi, guy. Okay, so that's not super great. I'm gonna try and make that thing not burn down my house. Because if it burns down my house, that would be very bad. Luckily, I can see it because it had the glowing effect applied to it. Oh, God. Christ, that was like a... Why can't I hit it? No, my house! No, my house! Nope, nice try. Not happening. Not my house. Can I please get something a bit, uh, bit more protective? So I just got headshot by the Afrit. So I think I'm mad at you now. Did I hit you successfully? I've dropped my, there it is. Here's my knife. So these knives are very good for fighting. Think you could murder this pig for me? Because if you do, you will give me some cooked pork. That is how the game works. Uh, not super happy about being hit in the head repeatedly by uh, your fire. Uh, not, I said I'm not super happy about it. I don't know why you're deciding to keep on doing it. You're kind of mean, buddy. There we go. Okay, so, yeah. That pit of fire, or that pit of lava, is spawning fire mobs in... Where did the first one go? That's kind of scary. Uh, spawning fire mobs in the forest. So that's not very good and will probably end with my house getting burned down. But as of right now, house not burned down. So we're good. I will need a new knife in a bit though. All because of that dumb Afrit who decided to follow me. Ugh, don't like the way it flickers. Anyway, my, uh, my shaders kind of mess up the glowing effect. So when something else goes behind uh, another thing, instead of seeing an outline around it like you do in regular Minecraft, you just see the whole thing. And apparently what also happens is, uh, this. But that was earlier why I was able to see the, uh, Afrit through the, the boundary of my house. So, uh... There was... There was nymphs around earlier. What is... What is the thing that is creating that? I don't know. Uh, there were nymphs around earlier. Can I? Uh, hey, can you come down here and heal me? Hey, can hey, could you hey, could you come down here and heal me, please? Hey, hey, could you come down here and heal me? It's not listening. <laughs>